Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain how to write a research proposal and its importance and its importance. First of all, the research plan. The structure of the research plan includes title, abstract, statement of the research problem, which further includes rationale and justifications for the study, significance of the study. Next statement of the purpose of that study of the study specific aims or objectives research hypothesis or guiding questions background of the study which includes topics for the review of literature related to theory and supportive rationale related studies methods and previous work by the investigator that supports the project methodology which includes subjects characteristics sampling method plan for the recruitment materials instrumentations plan to establish reliability and validity procedures study design details of test and treatment administration data collection methods timetable and organization chart data management and analysis at the end documentation of informed consent first of all title of the research proposal it will be good when it will concise title that gives the reviewer a general sense of what you are investigating for example production of biodiesel from waste water sludge treatment title of research it will reject if too long and technical of a title will not gain the reviewer's attention or interest too short and broad a title will make the reviewer too critical of grant for example determining the mechanism of action of bcl through family members in regulating apoptotic signal signaling complexes within the mitochondria leading to a cure in cancer which is a too long topic of your research proposal abstract it should be limited to 200 to 250 words highlight the purpose and importance of the proposed project descriptions of the method positive impressions convey specifically what is done and why the study is important statement of the problem convey a clear sense of the importance of the problem in term of applicability of potential findings present rationale for specific questions being addressed methodology it may be the most important part of the proposal it should be both concise and clear answer the research questions <clears throat> summary of research proposal it will be good if it give a short but informative background to justify the research hypothesis and objectives clearly state the hypothesis state the objectives and or aims of this proposal state the impact significance and innovation in this proposal it will be reject if technical and condensed phrasing of the project no clear statement of what is the purpose of the study details of research proposal significance and importance it will be good last chance to impress the reviewer on the importance of what you are proposing give a sense of future directions for this research why is this proposal innovative it will be rejected if no significant statement applicants cv details it will be good list all awards especially awards directly related to your research list all publications in the last 5 years abstracts are an easy way to show productivity give impact factors for publication and citations if any give ranking of journal in your field of research if possible it will reject if no evidence of research activity or track record all middle authors for publications general thoughts reviewers will not be experts in your field of research make the proposal accessible to them get your proposal read by a colleague or someone in your area of research 
they might find problems that reviewers will find. Now, the provincial director research will give peer review to proposal given to the office three weeks prior to deadline for blind review. Presentation of the proposal. Printing. It will be need. It should be readable. Each copy should be clear and high contrast. At the end of this video, I will show you my own research proposal and research plan. Research proposal and research plan are totally different document. It's not a same. Let me show you. Here is my own research plan which I have used for to apply in different countries for a scholarship. That is actually main purpose of the research plan to make a study timeline. Timeline of the research plan of two years of master degrees as well as for your doctor degrees, PhD. This is the actually study research plan. Arrival at university introduction, you will show the layout of your study, what you will do in your further study. And the research proposal, research proposal is totally different from research plan. Like you can show, you can see abstract, it's not more than 200 or 250 words. Research objectives, problem of treatments, significance, process flow diagram, if available in your research proposal that is the actually main research proposal and research plan i think this video will help you to how to make your research proposal